Hey. Hi. Hey, so we are, as promised, heading out to see... Well, heading first we're heading to eat at Freebirds. So, yeah. Because this kid had wine for lunch. Yeah. But um, okay. heading to Freebirds, and then after that we are heading to see Will Ferrell's The House. The House. With uh, Amy Poehler. Amy Poehler. And a bunch of um, C-list comedian actors who are <laughs> very funny, but they're just not worth noting. And so, uh, yeah. We talked a little bit about it in our last video. Um, our opinions on it. So, yeah. our free opinions, yeah. So, we're not going to talk about it too much. Right. Um, but yeah, we have, you know, yeah. we're mentioning a bunch of movies, but some that Aaron and I also enjoy our TV shows. And it's something that we never really got into a whole lot on. No. We don't um, talk about it. We don't talk about it much on Facebook. We promote it a little bit on Instagram, but we've never really done a whole lot with it on social media. Yeah, and so anyway, summer things very soon coming that we are also anxious about. That's not on the blockbuster movie list. Is Game of Thrones this Sunday? This Sunday, we are huge Game of Thrones fans. We love the show. And we're very, fans. really excited about uh, season seven. Um, yeah. So sad that it's so close to ending. So close to ending. It's it's just it's crazy, right? You know. Yeah. How many seasons it's already been and it's one of those shows to me it's like it's so easy to watch and it's so yeah. pretty quick pace and you can binge it and catch up very quickly and you think holy shit it's already been six years yeah we're on the seven maybe one to two more and then it's over yeah and it's funny though because i agree with you but it's funny how many people say it's not a binge watchable show well those people like depressing things. <laughs> if you like stupid shows like Walking Dead, then yeah, oh, it's God. not as binge watchable, is it? <laughs> not to get into too much politicking. No, but come on. But, this is one yeah. of the most epic shows of epic shows true. ever made. <laughs> and it's not just like, you know, it's got everything, you know? It's got some whimsy comedy. It's mm -hmm. got action. A lot brutal of action. action drama. It's, it hits all the genres and the, mm -hmm. and the emotions. Per episode, I feel, and it it's does. got so many interesting characters. Yeah, and that's the thing I like is like in each episode, you can hit like a scene, maybe two, mm -hmm. with each scenario with different people. Yeah, and then still have time left over, but then an hour runs by and you get the yeah. episode, and it's like there's so much to catch. Mm -hmm. I'm excited for the potential of season eight, which I know there's going to be very few episodes, but the potential of season eight to have like hour and a half or two hour episodes. Just well, to get yeah, shorter, shorter seasons. Yeah, shorter. Yeah, yeah shorter thing. seasons. So longer yeah. episodes. I don't know if it's worth the trade-off though. If I would rather have longer episodes, but have to potentially wait till 2019. I know they haven't confirmed all of that yet, but that's, but you gotta that'll think, be interesting. When we get closer to the end, there's gonna be a lot more anticipation. There's gonna yeah. be a lot more induced awesomeness. That's true. So it's gonna be worth the wait because yep. we're getting towards the end. So it's gonna get a lot more epic. Yeah. So, so I'm, a, I'm excited regardless. Um, yeah, definitely. We all are. And so, yeah, Game of Thrones. And, uh, and then, uh, we're currently, I'm watching and he's re-watching the first season of Vice Principles. Um, the second season starts sometime in August, I think mid-August? September. September, okay. September, um, early, mid-September. That has uh, Dana McBride, Walton, Walton Goggins. I always want to say Walter. Um, Walter, Wal but it's Walton. Walton yeah. Goggins. Um, and a few other people here and there. It's I've enjoyed the first season so far. We're this evening. We'll see. I think the seventh episode of nine, and we'll finish it. Seven, up. yeah. I and really like just, it. I didn't think I would. It's hilarious. Yeah, like I said, it. it it's very funny. It's very yeah. raunchy. If you haven't watched it, it's very. Yeah, definitely not for everybody. No, but just overall, I mean, it's it's an HBO show. It is HBO, and it is They're, a very good dark comedy if yeah. you're interested in whimsy raunchy if you know yeah. Danny McBride's sort of humor if you got watched East Bound and Down uh, yeah. it's sort of like, you, know, yeah. you know what to expect so and HBO doesn't usually disappoint they, uh, they've had some questionable oh. shows yeah oh but most of their recent stuff like within I would say the last six seven years has been at least pretty good 70 to 80 percent of their shows are viewable yeah I love Boardwalk Empire um was that HBO? Mm-hmm. That was HBO. Entourage was HBO. And then you um, got... Um, 
They've done West lots of World. West World, oh my god. That's Young Pope. Amazing. For me, Big Little Lies. Yeah. Uh, I've seen They've a lot a of good stuff. Bunch, not to mention the classic things like The Sopranos. Oh, uh, I never watched that. Yeah. I watched a little bit of it. It was pretty good. Um, it's a lot like The Godfather. I don't like that fat guy who died. James Gandolfini. Yeah, I don't like him. He that was he was good in that. Um, he played that role really well. A lot of I churchy thought. people liked it. Yeah, which is really ironic. It was ironic, but, but anyways, we've grown going long enough, so. Uh, next time you'll see us here in a minute will be our review of the house. It'll probably be pretty short. Uh, <laughs> probably probably just will. more of a did we like it, yes or no. There you'll, you go. You'll hear our answer soon. So, anyways, see you later. Okay. Okay, what's up, people? Hi. Just got out of the house. The house. And very briefly, what were your thoughts? As expected, it wasn't something to rave about or... You're but anxious it wasn't, to see. Yeah. But it wasn't horrible was, either. But no, it wasn't horrible. It was very funny. It was uh, very well fairly. Yeah, so very it's, 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 you know, it is what it is. It's, it's, a, it's yeah. funny. It's, it's not a bad movie. You want to get some good laughs. Yeah. Sure. That's a, uh, you hit the nail on the head there. It is the Will Ferrell movie. If you like Will Ferrell movies, you're probably going to like this. Yeah. If you don't, probably not. <laughs> but, you know, granted, he, he did not take his shirt off. True. No, we didn't have there any, was no any of him naked. Naked Will Ferrell. So, so I was a little bummed as I go. The iconic nudity of Will Ferrell. Will Ferrell. What a shame. Yeah. So, but no. As a as a not so much of a Will Ferrell fan, it, it was enjoyable. It felt it drugged at times. It was so? it was an eighty eight minute movie and like Yeah, it did feel longer than an that. An hour in, I was like, My God, is this almost over? And I was like, Shit, this still has thirty minutes. Yeah, it did. So, it, it drug a little bit. The last part of it, that last 30 minutes went by pretty quick. Yeah, but, like, yeah. And then, of course, you had Jeremy Renner's surprise appearance, appearance in it in the scene. Which, that was pretty good. Yeah, that's so, pretty good. For any of you Jeremy Renner fans out there. Yeah. Um, and if any of you are Jeremy Renner fans, maybe find a better actor to be a fan of. Um, just my pro tip. I don't think he has as really his own fans. Probably not. He has people who like him. Yeah. So it doesn't have fans. So yeah, it was pretty good. Um, what's next on the docket? Um, Planet of the Apes and then Dunkirk. Next, next week and then Dunkirk after that. Week after and then not so much on the movies after Dunkirk. Late August. Mm. I think. Um, oh, we have Atomic Blonde. Uh, end of the month yeah. and then. And then there's like a three week hiatus. Yeah. Until next movie. I can't think of what the next movie is though. It's probably like the Hitman's Bodyguard with Samuel L. Jackson and oh, Ryan right. Reynolds, and then we'll have Logan Lucky with um, Daniel Craig, Daniel Craig, yeah. Adam Driver. I'm very intrigued to see that movie. And Channing Tatum. It's got such an interesting. Cast. Don't forget Riley. Riley Kay. The only one person who cares. She was in Mad Max, and she's Elvis's granddaughter. That's nice. Two of the greatest things in the world: Elvis and Mad Max. So, fuck off. It's on the bottom of the list of great things, but okay. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Well, hope you enjoyed the review. Check out our other review videos. Yes. Subscribe right in here. Yes. And, and check us out on Instagram. And Facebook. 